Welcome back to the second instalment of Camogie Talk. I'm Anna Geary and I'm joined by All-Ireland medalist Ursula Jacob and sports journalist Dara Cahour. Today we're going to be reviewing the second of the quarterfinals in the Liberty Insurance All-Ireland Senior Camogie Championships, which is due to throw in at 7pm this Saturday in Thursday. So the 2017 championship has already thrown us a few curveballs and it took until the last round to really have the quarterfinalists emerge. Does it surprise you that Tipperary and Galway are down the quarterfinals now? Well, look, some people would be surprised that maybe Tip reached the, the quarterfinal stages. You know, they had suffered three defeats to Wexford, Cork and Limerick. But, you know, in fairness to them, they grouped, uh, regrouped for the final game against Offaly and mm -hmm. they had a great win, you know, up in Bar that day, you know, winning... 313 to 2.13 and you know in fairness they stood up and you know the pressure was on them to qualify and it was depending on other, on other results but in fairness to them that day they really stepped it up and you know their scoring threat that day you know really got them over the line against um, uh, Offaly. Yeah look I, it was an amazing championship in that way you came to the last week and there was only one team out of the 10 out of contention that was Warford. Cork were the only team that were straight mm -hmm. through and everything else was up for grabs and in, and in that game if Offaly had scored one more point in that game or in any other game, they would have got through. That's how tight it was. Limerick had beaten um, Tip, but they actually ended up bottom of the group. That's how tight it was. So Tip, Tip did what needed to be done in the end, and and in all their games they had been competitive. Yeah. So that was that. That's why they had the best score difference. They were always there, or thereabouts. So um, you know they they deserve to be there. Galway were much more comfortable in the end. Would have been disappointed probably with how they performed against uh, Kilkenny, but yeah. I think the last two times, two or three times, they have met the loser of that game in the group stages has gone on to win the All Ireland. So I think Galway will be hoping that omen holds true. <laughs> yeah, and so even looking at Galway because you know that the highest score so far in the championship, you know what way do you see you know Tipperary setting up against them now to try and curb that threat? Well, look at the Galway full forward line of Ailish O'Reilly, uh, Noreen Cohen and Aoife Dunhu. So far this year, they've scored 643 between them. Mm. So they're absolutely on fire and they're lethal. So Tip are going to be keeping things nice and tight, obviously. You know, I think Tip's uh, half-back line have a lot more experience the in, than the inside line. So okay. you're looking at Aoife McGrath, Cueva Mar, and Mary Ryan captain to kind of pull back uh, and cover their full back line because I think they're that little bit in a, inexperienced in the tip full back line and Galway are going to be looking to expose that. So I definitely think, I know the famous word sweeper is going to be yeah. uh, <laughs> in, in, in existence on Saturday and I definitely think that tip will be pulling their half forward lines and midfielders right back so that it's keeping it nice and tight. And if you look at this, I suppose, you know, you have three losses for Tipperary versus three wins for Galway in the group stages. Would Galway feel they're going into this now with favourites? They mightn't, but they are. I mean, they, they are the facts of the, the situation. You know, management will be trying to, you know, block that out of people's yes. heads. The last thing you want is any notion of thinking we have the game one going into it because that's the game you lose. Mm -hmm. But you only have to drop off, you, you know, um, you drop off 5% in your in your levels at, at that level. Yeah. All you have to do again is point out to Tip last year, you know, and Tip are one of those teams. They are so inconsistent, maddeningly so for them and for Brian Boyle. But they are capable of pulling a big performance out last year. Remember, they were eight points up against Wexford last year. And I'd say they still don't know how they lost it. Um, and they are capable of that because of the forwards. Um, but, you know, maybe Galway would be stronger at the other end of the field. But because their players have been dragged back, you have the likes of Mary Ryan, who has been described as the yeah. Tommy, Tommy Welsh of, yeah. of Camogie. She's not the tallest, but really strong in the air. And she'll be very important when they're dragging back there because I'd imagine Galway will be targeting that full forward line and if she can win clean ball and get out quickly that'll help them hit them on the counter attack with the pace at the other end of the pace. Just for people at home or you know, that mightn't have seen all the games if you were a Tipperary, where would you be looking to exploit from a Galway point of view? Well, I suppose this year, you know, Sarah Darvin, who would be the normal full back for Galway, she's missed uh, all the, mm -hmm. the championship to date with, through a foot injury. So Roisin Black has slotted into the full back position. And, you know, her inexperience, you know, she has grown with confidence in the last few games. Yeah. Um, but that will be an area that definitely Tip will be looking to target because, you know, Sarah, I'm not sure, will they be selecting her and playing her on, on Saturday? Um, I think they should because I think, you know, she's a leader for the Galway defence and she's been there and I know from personal 
personal experience. <laughs> it's very tough to get you know around her, and you know I think Tip are going to really be focusing on that. You know you have Orlo Dwyer who's really been, been on farm this mm -hmm. year, Kira Maher who got two one against yeah, Offaly. Yeah. You know I think t uh, Tip have massive threat in the forward line. You know caught Devan, we've seen the damage she did against Limerick mm -hmm. three six. So you know Rebecca Hainley is going to have her hands full. Mark and Cod Devan. Cod has a great strike as well. So um, I think those areas definitely, and I think the half back line for Tipperary are so vital. Their supply of ball into the full forward line is something that's really going to, you know, stand up for for Tip at the weekend. Because as I said, they've got the bit more experience than the Tip full back line. So I think that could you know, uh, that's really going to be critical on Saturday. Well, that leads me lovely into my final question, you know, it might make it a little bit more difficult for you this time. So prediction-wise, who are you going for? Yeah, well, that's saying all that, but with, with tip, it's ifs. And, like, I have a fair idea. Like, Galway did not perform, but they were really against Kilkenny, but they were really just professional in all the other games. And, um, you know, I think these teams probably taper and build up, you know, um, because this is the time of the year that you're targeting. And I would just think Galway have too much firepower. I mean, we didn't even mention Niamh McGrath and Claude McGrath coming off the bench. And, you know, they have so many good scoring, you know, scoring power Niamh right through the page. Uh, well, Niamh is still the leader, one of the best mm. in, in that middle third. And put, when she puts the ball in the sticks, she's so hard to stop. And she can finish off either side. So you don't know if she's going to come off her left or come off her right. And, and um, yeah, no... They just look to have too much and they have too much consistency. I, I just always be concerned that Tip don't do it day after day and maybe they had a good performance the last day. It mightn't come this day. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it'll be a cracker. Um, I'd have to agree. I think Galway will just have that bit more um, experience and I think it's the combination of their experience and their balanced team. I think they're that bit more balanced throughout you know, the defence and attack and obviously you know, Neve Kilkenny midfield is just the engine of the Galway team and she's ably su supported by Emery Starr there. So I think you know, that's really going to put added pressure on the tip defence. Um, I think tip are you know, a young, exciting team. It's just frustrating watching them at times with their inconsistency. So look, at, you know, please God on Saturday they, you know, they'll raise their game. They're going to have a home crowd there. They're going to be well used to playing in Turles and hopefully the open uh, space and the big pitch will stand to the tip forwards. But I still think Galway will just edge it. So our two experts are going for Galway. That's it for us. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you get down to Turles this Saturday for the brilliant double header that's in store. At 5pm you have Dublin and Wexford. At 7pm you have Tipperary and Galway. All under 18s go free and all teams would be glad of your support.